Hello again, this time we will learn about how we can uh, sort of sort or order our data and just like SQL or SQL uh, we have the uh, keyword order by likewise in Sparkle it uses exactly the same keyword order by to order results we say so order by and then we give it the variable that we want to order our data with uh, back to, our, to the same data set from the last video, these, uh, these orders or these meals data set where we have uh, uh, so what looks like a meal ID and then this description, breakfast, date and amount likewise for the rest of them. What we'll do is we'll have a simple query that lists all the meals with uh, their dates and their amounts and then we'll try to order them and show you how the order by works. So this is query number 146. Let's run it against our data set 146. Run it, and we'll have a list of all the meals with, it, with their description, date, and amount. If you see here, select description, date, amount, and then uh, we're using uh, uh, a temporary variable uh, meal. It has a, v uh, uh <coughs> a property description. Place it in description. I hope you get the idea now of using variables, temporary ones, inside our query and then assigning or binding the values from the properties to our uh, other other variables and then displaying them. I hope you get this idea now of this sort of binding values and then assigning them and displaying them. Again with a shortcut version date binded to variable date so we can display it and it has a property amount binded to variable amount and place it in uh, variable I'm sorry and so we can display it and then just end the query with the dot if I do that again this is what we get yes now uh, notice I've actually commented this out so if I uncomment this then we have order by amount so what we want to do here we want to order that order these by amount if we save and run the query again you can notice here that results have been ordered using amount and it, by default you can notice it's actually ascending order so the default one is ascending order to have descending order that's quite easy all we need to do is say or use the other reserved keyword desc or this function descending or this function rather than, than the keyword save it and then run it again and then we have the result you know sorted using amount or ordered using amount in descending order if we want to use date then date has been used or if you want to use description sorry description then it's fairly straightforward to do that now what if I tell you for example let's go back now to uh, amount what if I tell you, give me back, for example, the highest or the lowest amount, yeah, the largest or you know the maximum or the minimum amount? Well, what we can do is we can use the limit keyword from last time. You can use just a small trick by ordering the data and then getting the very first result. So if, I, if you want the smallest amount, we just uh, order the data. I'm sorry. If we want the smallest amount, we order the data in ascending order so we we'll remove the this function we we'll just order it in ascending and in, the, in, uh, in ascending order yes and then we we'll get the first one so we say limit one and it'll give me only the very first one that with the smallest amount I hope that makes sense yeah and of course if you want the amount only you just say remove that and give me the amount only hope that makes sense yep yeah? yep yeah. And then again, if you want the highest one, you, shall, you just say use descending with the DS, DESC function. And then run it again, and you get the one with the highest amount. In Sparkle, there is another function called max, which you can use uh, to actually uh, get the highest amount to order thing and get the highest amount of something. And the syntax looks like this. We can say select max and I'm using uh, query number EX153 now so select max maximum value of amount as max amount what's happening here is 
that we are getting the maximum value of amount and then assigning it to another variable called max amount. Nothing fancy here, nothing magical. It's just a way of assigning a certain value to a variable. I mean, you can actually cancel that. We'll delete that later and see what happens. But this is just a way of assigning uh, the maximum value of amount, assigning it or binding it to a variable name called max amount. Nothing here, just, just as we said, another variable name where meal you know has a property amount amount yep if we this uh, run this 153 see what happens see what happens here it gives us max amount and it gives us the highest value of or the maximum value of variable amount yep the ver the maximum value of variable amount and then it it binds that or renames it or binds it or links it or assign it I'm sorry to keep repeating myself assigning assign it to a variable called maximum I mean if you can actually remove that and see what happens yeah, we can actually remove that and you, you will see that it does exactly the same thing it's just a matter of naming that sort of that column or that uh, 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 part of the triple yeah hope that makes sense I don't know whether there's actually min function apparently there is let's try it and see what happens there you go then we have a max and a min to do the same trick that we did here when we used the order and limit by one yeah so instead of using max we can say min and remember this is just a way of binding that 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 value to this variable and display it nothing fancy here run it again and there you go I hope that makes sense thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you next time